Hello, my name's Christian Hunt and I'm the founder of Human Risk, a company that specializes in bringing behavioral science to ethics and compliance. And in this series of short videos, I'm gonna be speaking to professors Benjamin Van Roy and Danny Sokol about a new book they've co-authored called the Cambridge Handbook of Compliance. In each of the videos, I'm gonna ask Danny and Benjamin to talk a little bit about one of the key themes covered in the handbook. To find out how you can buy the book and to download the introduction for free, stay tuned to the end of the video. Before we get into that, I'm going to get them to introduce themselves. So Benjamin, can we start with you? Yes. Hi. Um, my name is Benjamin Van Roy. I'm Professor of Law and Society at the University of Amsterdam School of Law. I'm also Global Professor of Law at the University of California, Irvine. And Danny? I'm uh, Danny Sokol. I'm a professor of law at the University of Florida, but very shortly, I will actually also be moving to California where I will be professor of law at the University of Southern California and affiliate professor of business also at uh, USC. Tell us a little bit about the book, Benjamin. What, what's, what's the idea behind it? So the idea behind the book is that there is a science to compliance. The idea is that somehow this field of compliance in academia and practice hasn't really been able to connect very well. So we have all these different scholars in different silos studying different aspects of compliance, sort of like blind men with an elephant, who don't really connect together. So we try to bring that together. And by doing that, we hope also that this field, the academic part of it, becomes more accessible to people in practice. Danny, what, what, what are your aspirations for writing this book? To me, the large problem was so many different people were trying to understand the same phenomenon of compliance, often from somewhat different perspectives, but speaking in effectively different languages and not understanding that there are other people with similar interests that had actually done some significant work that might have aided them to really have a more integrated and nuanced approach. And what we had hoped to do was to bring together people with different perspectives in the hopes that by doing so, we could effectively create new approaches that were a little more tailored to reality that took into account a number of different perspectives and uh, to the extent that compliance is in part about dealing with problems of organizational dysfunction, I'd say that the academic study is the paradigm of organizational dysfunction. <laughs> so we needed to write a compliance book to have better compliance so that we could think about compliance. Amazing. And finally, remind us what the book is called and where people can find it. It's called the Cambridge Handbook of Compliance. They can find it at uh, any big uh, seller online, like Barnes & Nobles, uh, Amazon. Um, they can also find it at the Cambridge University Press website. Um, there's also a digital version they can, um, they, can, um, they can get a subscription to or ask their library to get a, a subscription to. Uh, and they can find the introduction for free as a free access paper, open access paper on SSRN, and we can send you a link. Fantastic. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you, Christian.